How do we make that happen without it being another 2022 disaster year? We probably won't hit a million dollars in profit like this year. Last year, you and I were very much in the nitty gritty. Me doing a lot of sales and you doing a lot of customer service. We're having a really hard time thinking about the future of yard dogs yeah. while we're in the tasks. And that's not what we're meant for. Like exactly. entrepreneurs are supposed to solve problems by finding the right people to do it. That's what building a business means. What Moses said again, it's like, it's good to be engaged, but not involved. So how can you be engaged, but not involved? It's a great day to be part of the dirt life. We are back. It's been about a month since Liam and I have sat down Let's to do chat. It. Hope everyone's going well, and we're just going to give everyone just a big update about what's been happening here at The Pound. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, good to be back, man. Good to be back. So last time we chatted, I think we were just starting to talk about the idea of potentially talking about remote reps for our business and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's just sort of go back and forth a nutshell of what's been going on at the company this past month and how the season's shaping up so far. Yeah, so far pretty good. Um, We got, I got three remote reps. They're all making $8 USD per hour. Two of them are really good. The third guy starts today, mm-hmm. so he's just getting trained up. But two out of the three, uh, or like two out of the people that are there like right now, they're fantastic. Like They're better than probably me, probably you. Well, maybe not you, but they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're better than like all of us at, uh, at talking. They're right on it. They start... And this is for customer service. This is for customer service yeah. only. Yeah. yeah, very clear. It's only for customer service. I'm very happy with them. And uh, they have a little bit of an accent, but overall, it's pretty damn good. Like, it's hardly even noticeable. Like, yeah, the one's from the Philippines, one's from uh, Pakistan. Yeah. And they're great. And um, I'm going to put it into a bonus, too, like, for any saves that they can do. Like, if the, somebody's calling to cancel, and they're, like, uh, they can save them, like, a $1 or $2 bonus. I'm really looking forward so, to that because I think, like, uh, companies are very quick to incentivize sales, sales, sales. Like, mm-hmm. we incentivize behaviors we want. Yeah. But it's rare people incentivize saving people. For sure. Like, yeah. a customer gained is actually, in my opinion, like, worth more than a... Sorry, a customer, customer saved, saved is yeah. worth more than a customer gained. Absolutely. Because when you're saving someone, they have a track record of spending money at your company. And they, they get the yard dog's ways. Exactly. To yeah. People focus on marketing, marketing, sales, sales. But, like... Um, there's that stat out there where it costs, is it like seven times more, something like that, about getting a new customer than just keeping the people you already have? Yeah, yeah I, I think you're right. Yeah, no, for sure. And that's the biggest thing too, right? If, they, if they've been with us for since 2021, 2022, 2023, and then they want to drop off in 2024, well, they had three years of paying us about 400 bucks a year. Mm-hmm. So that's $1,200. Yep. So us saving them and us doing a good job like this year will most likely mean that they would stay on until like hopefully 2027, mm-hmm. right? So having that one good conversation or giving away that one free service or just hearing them out for five, 10 minutes has got a great ROI. Mm-hmm. And like the remote reps, like they're they're awesome. Like they're like tears in their eyes when I'm saying that we'll pay them eight bucks an hour. And they're like, wow, $2 bonus to save them. And it's like, it's awesome. Like they're like, they're so thankful for that, which is great. And it's, like, and it's true because like 18, eight bucks an hour USD mm-hmm. in wherever they are yeah. is like, Making 30, 40 bucks. Probably more. An hour, probably probably, more, probably more. more like 100 bucks an hour. For Maybe. Us. I, I'm <laughs> not too sure, right? Depends where. Um, plus, something like that. So, like, that's been great. So, so far, I, I was hesitant about the remote rep strategy. So far, it's not peak season yet. We're not in spring rush yet. But so far, I'm like, hell yeah. I can get three guys for the price of one. And they expect to be here for a term. You know, it's like seasonal work, essentially, which I really like about it, too. Well, because. No, I, yeah. You'll drop down. Yours like, can be year round, mm-hmm. but. For sales in particular, so I'm paying our guys more yep. for the remote. We have a hybrid team; half are remote, half are in house. Mm-hmm. Uh, they get paid more, but they are it's a lesser of a contract, about seven months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, mine are continuous or whatever. Mm-hmm. But for eight it, bucks it, an hour, you can afford for it to be continuous for sure. And it, it will drop down like to 10, 20 hours, but then they're good to come back full time mm-hmm. afterwards. Yeah, and they're they're all good with that. So yeah. that'll be great. I'm really stoked for that. It's going to really help us be more efficient, answer calls better. And the fact that they want to come back next year is mm-hmm. great. So, how are you feeling about the whole idea of getting kind of out of the nitty gritty? Because I think last year you and I were very much in the nitty gritty with like me doing a lot of sales and <laughs> you doing a lot of customer service. You were a bit more of a GM last year, but I think mm-hmm. this year our goal, yeah, we have some growth plans, but it's about getting ourselves off of the daily tasks sure. because not because we want, not not because we don't think it's lower than us, but rather mm-hmm. we're having a really hard time thinking about the future of yard dogs. Yeah while we're in the tasks and that's not what we're meant for like exactly. entrepreneurs are supposed to solve problems by finding the right people to do it yeah like building, that's what building a business means it doesn't mean <laughs> yeah. you're doing more work that's not building the business yeah like it's good to be i think hermosa said it good it's like it's good to be engaged but not involved so you, you engage you, but not involved what yeah, does you, that mean so how can you be engaged but not involved well you can be engaged by like okay let's, let's think about the new ideas let's think about the strategy let's think about the growth plans think about career plans for each and every employee right 
but involved is like I'm on the phones, I'm on the calls, like that's involved. Yeah. Engaged, like okay, let's think about the future. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to be engaged, but it's not good to be involved. And I think it's it's some you know? people some struggle to like uh, they kind of like have those as a package deal. So they they're really good at not getting involved anymore, but they <laughs> they as a result also get unengaged. So they're not checking the numbers, they're not yeah, checking yeah. the status. They kind of peace out and things fall apart without them. But if you can For stay sure. engaged which I think what we're hoping to do here. So we have an, so uh, a little recap on things, guys. So we have an office manager starting next week. Um, her name is Emma. I'm super pumped for how she's going to kind of bring the Me team too. together. Yep. She's going to be the glue for the office, so the customer service and sales, mm-hmm. where Nathan is the glue for operations. So yep. they're going to be working very well in tandem with each other mm-hmm. to keep the ball rolling so that we can actually focus on our next Yard Dogs branch. We can start exactly. to focus on making this branch stronger. Mm-hmm. But I think over the years, like our idea of what this branch is going to look like has changed a lot. But we're finally getting a little bit closer to, I think, what it's actually going to be. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, I think Emma's going to really help us, like, see things a bit more clear. Um, especially with the fact that, like, she can actually manage like, the whole office. Mm-hmm. So we got one month to get her trained up. And then the whole goal is that, like, during May is that we'll take two weeks off. Just go and take vacation and do whatever it's got to do. And then see, okay, is it going to fall apart or not? If it falls apart, then maybe we made a mistake. Maybe there's, like, things we got to do. But the goal would be things do not fall apart. And if that can happen, then that really saves us a lot of time. Because right now, we are still heavily involved with, like, the day-to-day operations. Mm-hmm. Right? If, we, if me and you just pieced out, like, right now, and the season started, like, tomorrow, things would not be good. So how do we how do we actually make that thing... How do we make that happen without it being another 2022 disaster year? What are the differences we're going to do this year mm-hmm. to make sure that if we leave for two weeks in May, which I think is a good goal because a goal without a deadline is just a wish. Yeah. You need a deadline for something to happen. For and sure. Right now is a great time to come on the team. Yeah. Like it's one of the last opportunities to join the team. You, but have, you have one month. But, it's, but have... it is one of the best times because all the action is about to happen. So yeah. brace yourself. Exactly. So what are we going to do differently this year than 2022 so that it's not a disaster year? It's actually a fantastic year. Well, still, even with the office manager and with everyone that we have, the remote reps, um, when you look at our... Our, uh, the amount of like overhead expenses to direct labor, we're still very, very good. Hmm. Like we're still going to have 14 people in the field and then about effectively eight or nine people. So that, that's a good ratio. Yeah. In 2022, it was like 12 people in the office, like six people in the field. Mm-hmm. Right. So as long as like that's being added here too, I think we got to also expect to like, we're not going to, we probably won't hit a million dollars in profit like this year, which I think was kind of like the goal. Mm-hmm. But I think a better goal is like, let's get a good foundation. Let's get ourselves out of the day-to-day operations and take less money, but be able to still grow the business without us actually being involved. Correct. Because once, you can, once you can do that, you have a recipe for growing a business. Yeah. And you can see what's breaking. You can see, okay, if we take two weeks off, okay, maybe like whatever it might be, like the finances are still not working and... Uh, the t- like whatever it is, but just see what's breaking and then you can go and, c- and try to like, not, not yourself go fix it, but go try to hire that out. What well, was really cool too, if, did you watch one of like Andy's uh, podcast with, uh, with Lee, like the last one? Um, that's the one that came out after he, he had the episode that talking about he met Hormozy. Yes. Yeah. So he said, okay, it's like the eight and nine figure, which we're not even close to. We're like 20% of that. Mm-hmm. What they have like for mentality is like, okay, who can I hire to fix this opposed to like, what can I do to yes, go fix this? Yes, I did see that one. Like that's and freaking it's, good. It's true. And it's, it's really hard as a business owner to think that way. Cause mm-hmm. like the sec, you're so used to solving all the problems all the day. Yeah. Like this morning I literally caught myself going through <laughs> tasks on HubSpot and I was about to like delete it. Cause I'm like, oh, it's, this shouldn't be here. I'm about to delete it. And like, I'd like grab my hand as I went to the curse. Like, no, like <laughs> I must tell this guy to do it because <laughs> The problem isn't you doing it. The problem is you do it. He's getting the habit of not doing it. That is the whole issue. No, for sure. And you're not communicating what you actually want. No, yeah, exactly. No, me and you are very bad with just like doing it because we're in the, we've been in the habit for 10 years. Yeah. What does it take? Like 21 days to like make a habit? We've been 10 years of just doing. (laughs) Good luck breaking a habit of 10 years, but it (laughs) it takes takes a lot of hard work. (laughs) And and also too, it's like at a certain point too, you have to be able to afford to like hire the people. So like right now we can probably afford to hire some good people for sure, but we're not like in a place to like outsource like absolutely everything and have a hundred percent CFO and whatnot. Right. Mm-hmm. But we can have, you know, Nathan as a general manager, we can have Emma as like the office manager. Yep. And like those two working together in tandem, which are going to work really good together. Um, should be able to hopefully get us out of the business and starting to focus on bigger and better yeah. things, you know, then tasks and emails and freaking setting business hours on Google. Yeah. To tell, tell, Fucking tell a. the audience here. What, what do you feel like your past three months have been? <laughs> Ah, uh, garbage, garbage stuff. Freaking adding business hours, adding pictures to the website, uh, answering emails for customer service, retraining customer service reps, just stupid stuff, man. Yeah. 
Like stuff that's just ridiculous. That's it's, stuff that should have been delegated ages ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. Stuff that I should have been yeah, not doing at all. Basically, not making much of progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what it felt like. Yeah, it's frustrating. I don't mind if things are going fast or slow, but I need to see progress. You know, as <laughs> yeah. long as things are getting better, it's like the game of golf. Yeah, if your score might be shitty, but as long as it's gone a little bit better over time, <laughs> it can keep you going. Yeah, the worst is the one there's no progress. Everything's going on. Oh, I hate it. Yeah. And then, like you, no matter what you do, you keep fatting the ball, even though you're practicing more. That yeah. is frustrating. Oh yeah, the no, lack exactly. of progress. We also had um so. We I, had, another, another thing, too, is that we just got to simplify the hell out of things. Like, everything right now is, like, a little bit too complex. Like, all this HubSpot workflow sequence, this, that, and, like, unserviceable jobs, do this on Teams, do this on HubSpot. It's just, like, fuck's sakes. Like, we got to just get things, like, a lot simpler. Mm. Like, step one, two, and three. Yeah. Like, we have, like, these, like, 17-step processes on, like, how to get, how like, what to do, like, on a customer's lot. No one's going to remember step no, 11. No, it's 17 steps and 17 opportunities to go wrong. Yeah, I know. So it has to be very quickly. Like, lawn care is not hard, mm -hmm. but if you're not careful, it can get complex mm -hmm. very quick. So the challenge isn't making it easier because it's already, let's be honest, it's just grass. But the whole strategy, the hard thing is to take, not let things get into the weeds. Like, no like, like obviously, it does complex. get complex when you're servicing 500 people a day. Like, and that's where it get, does get true. A little... But don't let it be any more complex than it needs to be. No, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But like, how do you get the systems key when we're servicing a thousand? Like this year, we'll probably be servicing almost like almost a thousand a day. I think. Fifty. Hold on. Fourteen trucks times forty. What's fourteen times forty? That's five twenty. Eighty times. No, no. Fourteen times forty. Fifteen. Four hundred sixty. I think. Yeah, it's a lot. That but that means over a two day period, you're doing over a thousand jobs. Yeah. 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 So, and then however many tasks you have per job, like multiply that. So, like there's a lot of moving parts. So, yeah, like, I know. And, 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 the, and yeah, so with all that, we just got to make sure we don't overcomplicate things. Mm -hmm. It's got to be simple, but it's got to work. And it's just got to be step one, step two, step three, not freaking 18 steps. Yeah. You know? 18 step long care program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, those, those are some things too that we got to work on a little bit. But yeah, man, just got to redial it and take less profit this year, but really build the team and really build like the system. Mm -hmm. And then you got to be focusing on like this kind of stuff with the media. Yeah, exactly. Because the whole yeah. the Dirt Life channel that we're doing right now, like it takes it takes a lot of work, but it has to. Mm -hmm. I, I've noticed so far, it's not something you can just passively do or half-ass do. Yeah, it's it, you're all there, all in or all out for sure. And we're not all in yet. Like it's just been kind of diddly daddling yeah. a little bit here and there. Exactly. So we got a lot of great stuff coming your guys' way, but got just kind of end to end today, Liam. Like, mm -hmm. what's something that right now is a Right now, it's April 5th that we're recording this. True. So between now and April 5th, there is a lot to do. If there's, sorry, April 5th or May 5th? Uh, sorry, between April 5th and May 5th. There is oh, a yeah, lot yeah. to do because that yeah. tsunami is going to hit at some point. For sure. So what are, like, anyone that's in this time zone right now, mm -hmm. right before that huge spring rush? Some people are already going through a spring rush. Oh, yeah, probably down. lots of people are right lots now. Lots of people. Yeah. We're, we're probably the last ones to actually we get We definitely it. are, yeah. What, yeah. Are, what is our all of our focus going to be on for the next month? Stopping cancels. Mm. that's probably the number one thing. How do we figure out how to stop people from canceling? How do we, like, all it really matters like, in the office, like, how do we lower cancels and how do we increase sales? It's all it freaking matters. It doesn't matter about, like, some marketing or this or that or the website on the, like, sure, like, just take care of those two, but, like, all it really, really matters is lowering cancels relative to last year as a percentage and increasing sales versus last year as a percentage. Mm. If you can lower sales and increase... Increase sales. Increase sales and lower cancels, we'll be good to go. It, all all, all of the small problems will be dealt with. Exactly. Figured out. Yeah. But if you focus on everything else <laughs> and you don't focus on sales and customer retention, yeah. it doesn't matter what kind of little shared calendar shit you fixed. <laughs> like everything else will fall apart. If exactly. You don't fix those things. Yep. By the way, how's being a dad now? Great. So that's new. Yeah, that is new. Yeah. March 13th was? Yeah, it's been crazy, man. Yeah, it's been actually very awesome. It's actually been a little bit easier than I expected, honestly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I thought it'd be a lot tougher. Like, uh, not like a lot tougher, but like, I thought it'd be like. I don't know. I thought it'd be a bit tougher, honestly, not going to lie. But she just sleeps like, all the time. There you go. Not a bad problem to have. <laughs> yeah, she just literally, I get back and she just passed out upstairs. Let's see what the second month brings you. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. everything. Oh, well, yeah, we're almost, we're almost out there, like, right now. She's three weeks old as of yesterday, so. What's her name? Audrey. Audrey, nice. Yeah, no, she's great. She's pretty great. Yeah, she's, almost everyone's met her so far, I think, too. So, yeah, everyone's been over to her place. It's been awesome. Yeah, she's very cute, and uh, yeah, it's really, really special. Yeah. It's, a, it's a big year for the yard dog, because mm -hmm. Liam was there expecting their first, just had baby Audrey there. Yeah. I'm moving in three weeks, so, like we're moving our houses right now, um, and then our operation manager, Nathan, he's getting married in August, so we're all going through a lot of life changes right now, so yeah. it's an exciting time to be alive, that's and it's, for sure. It cannot be another 2022. We gotta, we gotta make sure it gets dialed in. 
you know? Yeah. yeah. I want to see another 2023. Yeah. A no, different 2023, but another great 2023. For sure. Yeah. Without us being as involved as we were like last Correct. year. So know? how could the, the, the question is like, how can we get the same results of 2023, better results in 2023, but by us being a lot less of the inputs? That's what the focus has to be on. Yeah. And that just means simplify and document the processes. Document, simplify, communicate, train. Exactly. Yeah. And make it repeatable, make it simple, and document it. Yeah. You got it. Exactly. Yeah. No, we can't We can't be jumping in to save the day anymore. Yeah, I know exactly. The hero complex has to go away. Yeah. If something actually generally breaks, like, okay, then let us know. We'll try to figure it out. But besides that, I want to see, like, the managers in place, like, really do their best to, like, really figure it out. Got it. And yeah, yeah, increase sales, lower cancels, man. That's all that matters in the office. Cool. So if you guys have any other problems going on in your life, just remember it has, if it has nothing to do with increasing your customers or increasing your attention, it's probably not a real problem. We're going to cut off here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to try to be doing these updates more so for you as we get into the peak of the season because when those days are hot and heavy, we want to make sure we're documenting the process <laughs> so people can see what that's all about. Please like and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Let's go.